Hey guys, what's up? It's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at the brand Sam Edelman. This is a shoe brand and I have had a lot of trouble selling Sam Edelman on Poshmark lately. Um, a lot of the pieces that I pick up sit for either a very long time or I'll set my prices high and drop them constantly until they're basically 10 to $15 and that's usually when they will sell. So I have been a little more picky lately and I, you know, if I go to the bins and find it, if it's in excellent condition, I will pick it up. Uh, but I do not spend $6.50 on it, which is our regular price at our Goodwills. I don't pay up. That's paying up in my opinion. Um, I don't pay up for it anymore if it's not, you know, something that has decent comps that are pretty uh, consistent when it comes to pricing. I have noticed a lot of these have a lot of high and lows. Um, and so in this video, I have covered a lot of the average sales prices. I also went through and manually did it myself for a couple of them just to kind of see the difference, which I'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, so we're going to look at the brand Sam Edelman. We're going to look at which styles people actually want, which styles to keep your eye out for in the store. And also stick around to the end of the video. I do have a giveaway I would like you guys to participate in. So we're going to be looking at the history of Sam Edelman and it's a little confusing what you're looking at on the screen. You're probably like, what is this? So Sam Edelman and his wife Libby originally created Sam and Libby. I think you can still buy Sam and Libby at like Target or something like that. But I mean, those of you who grew up, like I was born in 81. I don't know if any of you were born around that same time, but in the late 80s, early 90s, around there, I don't know what exact year it was. But these Sam and Libby bow flats were amazing. Everybody was wearing them. They were the most amazing flats. And yeah, so that was his first creation. And he actually ended up selling that business at a loss. All right, so the company that Sam Edelman is a part of is called Calaris Incorporated. It is an American footwear company that owns and operates a ton of different footwear brands. So some of the current brands that are managed by this uh, company are Famous Footwear, Diane Von Furstenberg, Rika, Allen Edmonds, Dr. Scholes, uh, Life Stride, Naturalizer, BZ's, Franco Sarto, Sam Edelman, Via Spiga, Vince, George Brown Built, Carlos by Santana, and Fergie Footwear. Um, I got all that from Wikipedia, by the way. <laughs> so uh, Sam Edelman is division president of Sam Edelman brand. Um, so, he, you know, he comes up with a lot of creations. I'm still trying to figure out where he comes up with all of these names for his shoes because, let's be honest, there's there's a lot of names for these shoes. And they're like people names. They're not like random, like, you know, Wild Ranch Doritos or something. You know, like, they're, it's, it's people's names. Like, who are these people? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I couldn't figure that out. I looked it up, couldn't find it, so... I guess we'll never know. So the top searched items for Sam Edelman are boots with 33,000 searches per month. Sandals come in next at 22.2 thousand searches per month. And then it drops significantly and loafers are next at 8,000 searches per month. Heels at 6.6 thousand searches per month. Flats at 5.4 thousand searches per month mules at 3.6 thousand searches per month which they could be considered flats too um, and then sneakers at 2.4 thousand so boots and sandals are like the big you know the big thing that people are really looking for like and to be quite honest when i go sourcing and i find sam edelman usually if i find the little ankle boots i will pick them up I don't even look at the, the style name or anything. I don't even comp them most of the time because when I do find them, like I said, it's at the bins most of the time. So it's pretty cheap. Um, but I'm gonna probably change that <laughs> after doing this research. I've learned a little bit. Um, but yeah, so sandals, I always look for the gladiator sandals because that seems to be like one of the most popular sandals. So I'm like, that's what I always look for. But I've come to notice that not all Sam Edelman gladiator sandals do well. So, um, you know, it is what it is. So let's go on to the next. This is where we're going to look at boots. So these were the top searched boots for Sam Edelman. The Laguna Chelsea boot uh, had 4.4 thousand searches per month. The top keyword for this boot was waterproof. So right here you can see these are the Laguna Chelsea boot. Um, these ones are suede though and it said waterproof was like one of the top keywords typed for it. So the average sales price, according to sellhound.com, which only goes back the last 48 sales, um, 
they're getting average sales price of $105. So I also have a paper when we get to the sandals where I actually manually looked at the listing prices and I counted everything up. Um, so we'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, so average sales price for the Laguna Chelsea boots, 105 bucks. I have personally never ran across this style boot ever. So um, I hope to find it. Uh, the next one had 2.9 thousand searches and it was the Jennifer Combat Boot. And that's these right here. Um, the top keyword was studded. And as you can see, it does have studding on it. Uh, these are just like a lace-up combat boot. All right, so these have an average sales price of $60. And do keep in mind that all of these shoes that I'm showing you this is just one color. Most every single one of these have multiple different colors and some of them have like reptile embossing, things like that. So keep that in mind that not all of these look just like that. Like some of the items that are wanted more are different colors. Um, but anyway, so the next one is the high boot. I believe that's how you say it. And it had 1.3 thousand searches per month. These are knee high boots. And apparently they are a blogger favorite according to all of the listings I saw on Poshmark. So these are just a knee high boot. I think these ones are suede. They have average sales price of $70. I have never seen these or the Jennifers. So the next one is the Winona boot, 1,000 searches per month. Uh, the top keywords are white and western so people are looking for this in white and obviously it does have that western look to it so that's probably what people are just typing in when they're looking for this style of boot um, average sales price of fifty dollars so that's pretty good so let's move on to the next which is sandals now i have a little bit of information on the sandals um i did some manual um data gathering from Poshmark for the base slides, the Audria slides, the Gala, the Asha, and the Gunner. So one thing I did notice about Poshmark is I'm getting tons of different results when it comes to the search. So I don't think that their search and their sold results are 100% like accurate. So anybody telling you that they're gathering data from the platform, you have to keep that in mind. They're not, it's not 100%. <laughs> Because I don't know why, but Poshmark is kind of giving you a little bit here and a little bit there. And it's like, it's extremely difficult to uh, gather any type of data from them based off of them showing you just random results. So I don't know if anybody else experienced that. If you have, let me know. Um, but yeah, I just kept noticing either I would get extras when I was doing my count or I would get less. It was just odd. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at the sandals. So. Slides came in at number one with 1.6 thousand searches per month. The top keywords were Bay, Audria, Gala, or Gala, Asha, and Gunner. And so with these slides, um, I only did the top, these right here, and I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, but for the Bay slides, there was 135 listed. Now, this is when I did my, you know, my counting stuff the first time. After I went back, there was less, and then there was more, so I, I don't know. But there was 135 listed. 12 were listed under $30 out of the 135. So that kind of showed me, like, the majority of people are listing over $30. Um, you know, Sellhound said their average sales price were $35. But what I noticed was 74 had been sold at $25. 69 had been sold at $30. 62 had been sold at $35. 60 had been sold at $40. 39 had been sold at 45 and 37 had been sold at 50 and then it kind of goes down from there. So, you know, the majority had sold for, you know, 25 to $35 is about where that price is. So, you know, selling house pricing is, is pretty on point. So, so the next type of sandal that was searched the most were the gladiator sandals at 1.3 thousand searches per month. Uh, the number one keyword was even or Evan. The next was ginger and then Gilda. And then next we have flip-flops with 880 searches per month. And the top flip-flop was the Gracie flip-flop. And then Block Hill was next with 720 searches per month with the top keywords being Yarrow and Odilla. So down here we have the Bay slides. These have an average sales price of $35. They come in a range of different colors. Um, over here we have the Even or the Evan Gladiators. These are like a studded gladiator. They have an average sales price of $40 and they as well come in a range of different colors. So next we have the Gracie flip flops and these have an average sales price of $25. Um, the majority really sold for under $30 I've noticed. So 
Um, the next one right here is this block heel sandal and this is the Yaw Rose and this has an average sales price of $40. I don't think I've ever bought this type before but I have always looked for it because I don't remember who it was um, but they were pointing it out in a store in one of their thrift hauls video or thrift, thrift with me videos and they were talking about how these are very sought after style. So when I saw them I was like huh okay. So yeah these right here keep your eye out different colors. Um, I think the majority like the oatmeal suede color. So yeah, let's move on. All right, so the next are loafers. Now these I'm confused about because to me, they look the same. I mean, except for one's like patent leather and the other suede, but anyway. So we have the Lorraine loafers right here. They had 2.9 thousand searches per month and the top keywords were black and white. Um, these ones are just a suede version. They also have patent leather like these Lior's right here. So I'm confused on what the difference is because like I said, they look identical to me. Um, so yeah, these are the Lorraine's and if you run across these, decent pickup. Um, the next are the Lior's and these also come in suede too. Um, but this is just another color that I found. Um, they have an average sales price of $40. And their top keywords were black and white. And like I said, it, they look identical. I don't know why there's a difference. Maybe this one looks a little bit longer. Um, but it could just be the angle, the way the photograph was taken. So, all right. So those were loafers. The next were heels. Uh, the hazel pumps are uh, like these right here. Uh, the top keywords for that were stiletto and oatmeal suede. So these are a decent one. They have an average sales price of around $40. Um, different colors, lots of different colors and textures. So then we have the Leah pumps, which are a cap toe block heel, and those were the top two keywords. Um, they have an average sales price of $55, and I have never seen these before. I have seen these before. The next are flats. So we have the Felicia flat, which is right here, with an average sales price of around $30. And the top keyword for Felicia flats were black. People are looking for black Felicia flats. Um, the next uh, flat was a Rodney flat, and the top keyword for that was calf hair. So these have an average sales price of around $30. These are like a Dorsey. Is that how you say it? Dorsey, Dorsey. I just say Dorsey um, flat. Um, the next one are these Chloe espadrille being the top keyword these are just a pair of slip-on flats um, with the espadrille bottoms 30 bucks average sales price so not too bad and i actually just picked up a pair similar to these at the bins yesterday i got a black pair like these and i got a pair of these <laughs> so i don't know how i did that but i did uh mules are the next so the lenny mule right here has an average sales price of 50 dollars on poshmark um, and the top keywords were black and white. So those are the colors people are looking for more. And then the Natalia's, which are these right here with an average sales price of $30. So the majority of people were looking for white Natalia uh, mules. So then sneakers was next and sneakers, they didn't have any style names in the data at all. It was just white leather, slip on, pom pom and platform. So I thought that was interesting. And then we're going to look real quick at Circus by Sam Edelman. And after this, we're going to go to the Poshmark closet to look up a couple things just to kind of let you see that you don't have to do this research through Google. You can literally look at Poshmark because it's 100% legit. So anyway, Circus by Sam Edelman. Boots were number one search, 2.4 thousand, not a lot. Um, their combat boot, the Gretchen boot, which is right here. Average sales price of $50. I've never seen this before. But this is definitely one of the top searched uh, boots by Circus by Sam Edelman. And then sandals the, uh, had 1,000 searches per month. The Canyon were the number one searched with $25 average sales price. Um, they kind of are like that Tory Burch kind of, you know, with that little circle medallion thing in the middle. Um, and then, of course, slides were next. And then the Ibis or Ibis, this sandal right here, it's like a block hill sandal has an average sales price of $20 and I mean I I mean if you get it cheap I guess I'd pick it up but yeah all of these different color range so let's look real quick I still want to show you guys the closet real quick so we can go on here um, so as always I like to show you the keywords on Poshmark that they suggest to you are pretty accurate compared to the stuff that you see on Google um, 
keyword planner. So we're just going to type in Sam Edelman. All right, so when we're here on Poshmark and we're looking at these keyword tags, um, you know, it shows you basically like the main category and then all of the subcategories for the types of shoes, right? So we're not going to really pay attention to this screen right here. We're going to click on one of these first to see what it shows us. So we're going to look at sandals first and compare what I, my research said compared to what Poshmark's is saying. So right off the bat, Gladiator is one of the top, right? Because that's what a lot of people are searching for. Now the GG, I do have to say, I did write GG down, but I did leave that off. So I don't know if you can see, but right here, GG Sandals was number two, but I left that off because the average sales price was so little. I didn't really feel it was really, I, there was just no reason to put it on there. But yeah, the GG Sandal, which is next, was literally next. Um, then studded, that was one of the keywords people were looking for a lot. Slides was the number one type of sandal. The bay slides, flats, platform, white, circus, wedge, gold, blah, blah, blah. So um, when it comes to the gladiator, we can click on that, studded. And right there, it shows us that's what people are looking for. Like this is the one, this is the Evan or the even, I guess it's Evan. Um, it's, you know, this, keyword thing is is super helpful and i will put a video up here that i did about this it's just i think it's interesting because some people think this is just like ideas but no this is like literally these are keywords people are really typing in so you know keep in mind yes poshmark and google are two different platforms but the people who are on these platforms are the same people you know the same people who are on google come over to Poshmark. So they're going to be typing in the same type of queries into Poshmark as they're going to into Google when it comes to searching for items that they're trying to shop for. So it's not going to change a lot. Um, so I don't know if these keywords are what Poshmark has compiled or if they're doing what I'm doing and just going to Keyword Planner and looking at what people are typing in. I don't know. I, I mean, I could ask them, but they're, you know, pretty vague with their replies. So, um, but yeah, so the Gladiator, you know, that was correct we can go to slides and of course bay gala audria asha they're all there <laughs> every single one that i named off was there so you know definitely check this out you know this these keyword bubbles are a very great option to use if you don't feel like going into the whole google keyword uh, planner you know it's the exact same thing and it's so much easier honestly just to sit here and just click around for a while you know we will move on to mules and see what mules are on here. So the mini, never heard of them. Those were not in what we looked at. Now, obviously right here, we have the Natalia's. We did cover those and I do not see the others, which were the Linny's, I believe is what they were. Now I wonder if mini is a misspell of Linny. I doubt it. I don't know. I mean, none of these have, huh? None of these, all of these say Sam Edelman mules. Does that make sense? Are you seeing this? I'm confused. <laughs> what did I just find? Why do all these just say Sam Edelman mule? That is really strange. Um, okay. Anyway. Yeah, that's a little odd. I just noticed like nobody has, it's just literally Sam Edelman mules. Like, is that something new people are doing now? They're just typing in Sam Edelman mules. What on earth? I feel like I'm losing my mind. What is this? Okay, let's look at sold real quick. I'm so confused. I hope this video isn't gonna be too long. I promise I'm about to announce the giveaway in just a second. Um, yeah, this is strange. Okay. Well, anyway, that's weird. Um, let's move on. So I don't see Lenny, but it, it says mini. So I don't know if that's like the same thing and just somebody typed L instead of M maybe. I don't know. Let's look down here and see if we see Lenny anywhere. No, I'm not seeing Lenny. I mean, it's a possibility. All right. So we will go back and we will compare with um loafers 
All right, so remember the loafers, Lorraine and Lior, number, those are the top two right there. Exact same as it was on Google Keyword Planner. And if you don't believe me about the Google Keyword Planner, I'm not saying that y'all don't believe me, but um, I think it would be interesting just to kind of show you so you are aware of what I do and how I do this. So we're just gonna type in Sam Edelman uh, loafers real quick so I can show you the comparison. Um, and I mean, it's in the exact same order as well. So we'll go right here and just type in Sam Edelman loafers. And as you can see right here, Lorraine loafer, 2,900 volume per month. Um, there's some more right there to add to that volume. And then there's the Sam Edelman Lior loafers. That's pretty cool, right? So that's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, the Lorraine and the Lior, and then you can kind of go down. People are also spelling Lorraine wrong. Um, leopard is one of the top keywords, so I'm assuming this is something that people are looking for, the leopard. There's a lot of them. Um, well, not that many. So, yeah, I think we only have a couple more to go. All right, the next were flats. Yes. And then Felicia, right there. Rodney, right there. And I don't see the other one. I don't remember the, uh, what the other one was. So, but yeah, the main two are right there. Oh, it was the Espadrille, which was the uh, Chloe. So yeah, the main actual flats, the Felicia and the Rodney right there, right there for you. So um, the next one, we want to look for boots real quick and see if I can find them. Um, are there boots? Where are boots or ankle boots is what I'm looking for. Boots. Okay, let's just look at boots and see what it says. Okay. Okay, so boots, combat, over the knee, penny, knee high, riding tall, rain, white, Chelsea, high, ankle suede, lace. So that, that high boot is right there. Penny, I don't think I covered the penny boot. Uh, that is like a riding boot, by the way. Uh, they do sell if they're in good shape. I think I, the last one I sold for like 25 because it was kind of, it was kind of messed up. I've had that for a while. Um, Jennifer, right here. So, you know, the style names are there, right? The style names are there, so you can always just take the style names, look them up. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it's not 100% matching Google, but it's they're there, just not in the same order. <laughs> all right, so can you guess next week's brand? So I've already got the brand picked out. I've already done all the research for it, and I just want to see how many of you are able to guess. Now, um, those who guess correctly will be entered to win a $10 Starbucks gift card. And the winner will be announced next Friday during my video. And if no one guesses correctly, I will draw from all comments. So everybody will be entered. Um, and only one guess per person. So um, this brand is a brand that you could find at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. Um, it's a brand that a lot of people look for and a lot of resellers have talked about in the past as a bolo brand, but they never really specify which items were bolo items, you know? So a lot of the items by this brand just sit. Those are your hits. So anyway, I am going to go. I've got a lot of work to do. It is two o'clock and I have not done my shipping or my listings or anything for that matter. So I will talk to y'all in my next video. Have a great day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.